Dude, you just literally, no, I don't know. Not only just about yourself. First of all, you just learn like about humans. Like when they're first born, you're just like, this is low key an alien. Like this is low key. <laughs> like, like you just don't realize how like brand new they are. They don't know how to do anything. You're literally teaching them everything. So just when you realize that, like, oh shoot, like I'm responsible for like you lifting your head up. Like you like, okay, this is a whole new level of responsibility, but I'm here for it. Um, you know, and then you just start to see like the love you give, it just really comes back like a thousand fold. So you're just pouring love into this human and then they're just reflecting it back to you. And it's just so magical. Like it's literally, I mean, if one, if one can do it, like it's literally probably the most magical human experience out there. I'll, I'll say that like, it's on another level. <laughs> it's beautiful. So it's beautiful to watch a human grow up. You know, it really is. I didn't. I know I didn't. I was like, oh, it's my turn. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was chosen. He chose me. He definitely chose us. That's for sure. Like, yeah, that's a whole nother story. But yeah. I was chosen, he was chosen, we all chose each other, and it's very clear. <laughs> it's so, it's so dope. Oh, man, you know, like, it's crazy because, you know, another silver lining for me is the fact that I'm forced to be at home and there is no, like, nothing really pulling me away. Like, while he, as soon as he got here, you know, a year later, this is all happening. So, you know, I have a setup at the crib, um... I just record at home um, and just try to, like you said, find the balance with just giving all my time and attention to him, but also still leaving Holly A intact and whole and, and making sure, like, you know, she's able to express herself. Um, sorry for speaking mad about myself in third person. I know that's so annoying, but you know, it went down that road. Um, no, and so yeah, like it's it's it's. I think normally it would have been harder because I like you just out. You have to you know being in this industry, just being an artist, it, it requires you to just be seen so much, and um, it would that would have been more of a challenge, like going to these places and doing that part of the job, but really wanting to be at home with my son, you know, and I didn't really have to feel any kind of guilt <laughs> about not doing one or the other. Cause it was like, none of us can go outside. <laughs> We're all inside. So, you know, it's beautiful. Cause I didn't, I didn't miss anything. I didn't miss any milestones. Like I was there for everything. Um, which I'm sure I think a lot of moms in the industry right now are grateful for, you know, it's like, I'm sure I would imagine like, especially the ones that are working, working really hard and, you know, always out. It's like, that's, that'd probably be very just like conflicting because it's like, you want to get the bag, but you want to, you know, so I, I mean, yeah, I think it's just like, again, a silver lining 